Welcome to the Nottingham Clinical Research Bulletin from the Research and Innovation Team at Nottingham University Hospitals NHS Trust and the NIHR Nottingham Biomedical Research Centre. Each week we'll be bringing you a potted summary of clinical research and related stories from our researchers. You'll find a link in the show notes for information on pretty much every item. So here we go. Nottingham's known as the home of MRI scanning with the Sir Peter Mansfield Imaging Centre named after its inventor and our researchers are bringing their world-leading expertise to a new project for people with multiple sclerosis announced last week. They're part of the ASSIST MS study which will look at how artificial intelligence can help clinicians make decisions about caring for patients. The team, led by neurologist Nikos Evangelou, will be working with the AI company Icometrics and the Queen Mary University of London on a project funded by the National Institute of Health and Social Care Research. There's a link for more information in the show notes. I'm recording on Friday, March the 3rd, which is World Hearing Day, and the NIHR Nottingham Biomedical Research Centre is asking for the views of people living with dementia and hearing conditions and their families and clinicians about how research into hearing problems could progress best. It's part of a national programme called the James Lind Alliance Priority Setting Partnership for Coexisting Dementia and Hearing Conditions, and Dr Aitha Heffernan, Senior Research Fellow at Nottingham BRC, explained. We're launching a new James Lind Alliance priority setting partnership. Um, we're really pleased about this because it focuses on coexisting dementia and hearing conditions, which is a really important area and a growing area of concern. So we want to hear from people who live with dementia and hearing conditions, so hearing loss, tinnitus and hyperacusis. We also want to hear from their families and their carers and clinicians and social care workers. And they can take part in surveys and workshops to tell us what are the most important priorities that researchers in this area should be focusing on in the future. And there's more information on World Hearing Day in the show notes. One of our senior psychiatry professors, Richard Morris, has been reconfirmed in his role to steer mental health research in Nottingham and help develop researchers' careers. Professor Morris's role as NIHR senior investigator is on top of his job as a professor of psychiatry and community mental health at the University of Nottingham and also as an honorary consultant psychiatrist at Nottinghamshire Healthcare NHS Foundation Trust. And he's also the deputy theme lead for the NIHR Nottingham BRC and was heavily involved in mental health issues around COVID-19. He said the award recognises his whole team's work, which includes digital mental health and using electric neuromodulation to treat mood disorders. It benefits patients with bipolar disorder and depression, amongst others. Professor Morris's reconfirmation follows Nottingham BRC colleagues Professor Chris Hollis being named as an NIHR Emeritus Senior Investigator and the BRC's Director, Professor Ian Hall, also reconfirmed as an NIHR Senior Investigator. There's a link to more information in the show notes. Liver disease researchers and patients from across the country are gathering in Nottingham today uh, to launch a partnership to study cirrhosis research. It's funded by the National Institute of Health and Social Care Research and brings together teams from Leeds, Newcastle, Lincolnshire and Yorkshire and South Tees who will identify the best areas to study by looking at the data and holding patient workshops. The meeting's organised by Nottingham University Hospital's NHS Trust gastroenterologist Dr Mohsen Sabani who explains more. Sadly, liver disease is a silent killer and majority of the patient diagnosed at very late stage. Now we have the test which can non-invasively detect liver disease in early stages and provide an opportunity to intervene and change the natural history. And through this event, we hope that we will build local and national partnerships and build the relationship with the people in the community to prevent uh, damage we're causing due to liver disease. The meeting will also hear about results from our latest study on liver disease and chronic alcoholism, which is called CLIFAD, and there's more information in the show notes, as ever. Now, 
Cystic fibrosis is generally thought of as a lung disease, but it often also affects digestion. And Nottingham researchers are using a new app to research gut problems with people with cystic fibrosis. The team has developed the Tummy Tracker app as part of the CARDS CF study, which is sponsored by NUH, which asks patients about gastrointestinal symptoms. Dr. Rebecca Calthorpe, paediatric registrar and clinical research fellow on the CARDS CF study, explains more. CAD CF has developed CF Tummy Tracker, which is a app-based study um, open to people aged 12 and over with cystic fibrosis. Um, and through this app, we're asking people to record any tummy symptoms they have daily for two weeks. And there are links to more information on the Tummy Tracker app and this research in the show notes. And that's it for now. Thanks for listening. There are links for most of the items in the show notes and more information about research and innovation in general at Nottingham on the Nottingham University Hospital NHS Trust website, which is www.nuh.nhs.uk forward slash research and on the NIHR Nottingham Biomedical Research Centre website, which is nottinghambrc.ac.uk. Our email and social media links are there too. If you want to stay up to date with the Clinical Research Podcast, you can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Google and wherever you normally get your podcasts. The more shows are rated and reviewed, the easier it is for search engines to find us. So if you can subscribe and rate and review us, you'll be doing it for science.